we have learned what is a phrase what is a sentence what does a sentence have it has a verb what does the phrase doesn't have it doesn't have a verb so now what i am going to give you is you know a sentence has a verb this is what you must remember always a sentence a sentence has a verb a doing word this you must remember okay now i am going to give you few sentences and we will together circle okay a sentence has a verb so you must circle the verbs in these sentences what are you going to do circle the verbs in these sentences in the in these sentences okay now you're going to circle the verbs in the sentence and i'm going to give you the what does the sentence have it is a verb now i'll give you five six sentences and you will do it you and i will do it together okay first one hen lays eggs birds build nest next cow gives gives milk as mel next birds fly birds fly in the air or in the sky or in the air wherever full stop next we have susan writes well susan writes well and finally you have he is sleeping okay now what are we going to do circle the verbs hen lays eggs which is the verb here lays what does the hen do the hen lays eggs birds build nest build circle the word circle the verb cow gives us milk what does the cow give milk gives birds fly what flies birds fly fly in the sky susan writes well what does she do she writes and then what is he doing he is sleeping now you have a subject in every sentence the main person hen you ask a question to this main subject and then you will know what action they are doing let's do it hen what does the hen do hen lays you get the verb bird what does the bird do bird build then you get the answer you get the verb here cow what does the cow cow give cow gives us milk so you get the verb gives birds what do the birds do fly susan what is she doing she rides what is he doing he is here it is is sleeping so now what we have done is we are trying to remember a sentence has a verb so what did you do now you circled the verbs in the sentence hen lays eggs lays is the verb birds built nest build is the verb cow gives us milk gives is the verb birds fly in the air fly is the verb susan writes well write is the word 
uh, verb and he is sleeping. Okay, is sleeping. So we learn to identify the verb in a sentence and circle it. We'll do a short exercise now to identify a sentence from a phrase. If it is sentence, you write S. If it is phrase, you write P for this exercise that we'll be doing together. Okay, write P. Write P for a phrase. Write S. Write P for phrase and S for a sentence. It's a short exercise that we are going to do and you do it carefully. The first one we have here is on the table. On the table. Next we have the sun is a star. The sun is a star. Next, in a corner. In a corner. And then you have, they are enjoying music. They are enjoying music. In the house. After dinner, after dinner, she went to bed. She went to bed. Now look at all this. Look at each of this. I said there are phrases, there are sentences. Write P for phrase if you find, identify. Write S for sentence if you identified that is a complete sentence. Now for a sentence you need to have a capital letter, end with the full stop or question mark, exclamation whatever and then it must have a verb, it must make a complete sentence. Sense. The first one. First, second, third, fourth, fifth and finally you have the sixth one. Okay, so now all this you identify. Let's see how good you are. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The first one you have is on the table. Yes, you write P for phrase. That is the phrase P on the table. The sun is a star. A complete sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with the full stop. The sun is a star. It makes complete sense. So that is sentence. S for sentence. Good. Third one. In a corner. In a corner. It's only a phrase because it's group of words does not make complete sense. Phrase. Third one is a phrase. Very good. They are enjoying. Music. It begins with a capital letter. They are all R. It's got a verb. It ends with the full stop. They are enjoying music. It is a sentence. Complete makes complete sense. In the house. It's a group of words. Makes sense. Not a complete sense. So that's a phrase. Very good. And finally you have. After dinner. She went to bed. It begins with the cap letter, it ends with the full stop and uh, it says something what she did. She went to bed. There is a verb. It makes complete sense. So you say that is a sentence. So what did we learn here? We learned to segregate phrases from sentences. Remembering a sentence has a capital letter beginning, ending with the full stop and it 
it did make complete sense.